There's Aaron wandering in the background. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, I don't. Who knows what he's up to? <laughs> no, I mean, I don't care. There's always people like walking around in the background. I'm like, just try not to pick your nose or do yeah. something. Exactly. <laughs> Other than that, you're you're okay. You're okay. You know, like a quick introduction. Yeah. Hello. All right. So I don't know if I'm standing up too high, but I'm gonna take a seat just in case. Oh, I can see myself now. I um, probably just saw my tits earlier in this video. <laughs> but hello, everyone. It is day six. I'm just working at the left side of my body. It is back and bicep day. Um, I'm tired as shit. It is Saturday. Usually I'm home at this time, but I'm going to go ahead and get started. We're going to actually start off with rows because the gym is a little bit busier than usual uh, from my understanding. Again, I'm really over here at this time on a Saturday. So I'm going to start off with single arm dumbbell rows, and depending on what's free in the gym i'm really hoping to jump onto lap pull downs and kissing arm lap pull downs uh cable rows actually could do reverse underhand rows under my one hand here so we're gonna play around let's find out but we're gonna figure this out right here kind of see myself in the mirror reflection there's a mirror behind you um also one of the reasons the gym is busy is that we're holding like a studio crawl here so people are trying out different types of classes they're 15 minutes long each so a lot of faces and movement in the background probably hearing the instructor quite a bit too as well and it's not gonna end till six o'clock from what i was told so yeah we're gonna be fighting for a mic. Clearly, my microphone is still, uh, my microphone is still, the clip is still broken. Hence, it just shoved into my sports bra. But it's okay. We're gonna, we're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work. So, whatever weight you think you would like for that, but I would say just one kind of heavy, heavy to medium. We have 20 minutes of upper body blast coming your way. Or 20 minutes. Just one, yep. I tried to make it simple because I wasn't sure how many people there would be. So, yeah, everything will be single sided, which is fine. It works out well that way. But if that means that you can go a little bit heavier because you're just working the one arm at a time. Keep oh, they're mind. working out we have one, two, one, two, one side at a time. That's going to be we'll fun. We'll do rows. And then on our back, we'll have a single sided chest press. We'll have a Not gonna lie. and a skull crusher. It looks like yeah. a good amount of people. Good amount of people. Did you, you just came from the theater, right? You switched? Okay. Was it, hopefully it was mostly cardio. Okay, perfect. <laughs> it was all upper body. Alright. Well, the last class, can you hear me okay still? Yeah. The last class, the music totally cut out. So I don't sneeze. It. it was like dead air. They're the using a separate <laughs> speaker. <laughs> Uh, using the built-in yeah. speakers. Huh, that's interesting. Well, sorry, just about two minutes, so just hang out. All right. Let me put a last round on this one. This is upper body blast. So if you haven't taken this class before, we offer this on Mondays and Wednesdays. It's usually 30 minutes. Today will be just a 20-minute sampler, but it's really not that far off from a normal class. Uh, I if that works. We could use the one week. But uh, yeah, we're upper body Mondays, Wednesdays, and then lower body Tuesdays, Thursdays. Oh. Power, and then the is so that was three sets, Thursday. I believe. So can... Yes, that was three uh, sets. After one, All right, I'm gonna swap the weight and then do a. Actually, maybe cables are free. Kind of want to hit the rear delt. We'll figure it out. Cables are taken. This one's gonna. Do a fly on um, my well, left side. Your last four, Reverse we'll fly to be technical. You can hold it there. You can pedal on 
and then start to walk your hands back towards your feet. From there, find this forward fold and just interlace your hands at your low back. Sure, so weird because normally I'll do these hunched it. over like this. But I feel like if I did it keep this that way, just slowly roll I don't up. feel as stabilized. So I'm pretty much just mimicking that movement Beautiful. while Release being able to stabilize that. myself on more onto the bench. Stretch, go inside. Still hitting the same back muscle. Center, other direction. It's gonna sit down in between. Back to the feel kind of weird bent over that way. Back to the other side, and you get your recovery. And we go through that two times, three times total. Say like an unofficial back bend. Onto a lat, pull on the machine. I think that one actually behind me just freed up. So let me get this out of the way. You know, nothing wakes you up more than having anxiety. Okay, go ahead, grab that weight. Let your palm face I really didn't want to work out today. Four, I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. I really did not. But I'm like, I need to do back and biceps. Technically, just my back, left side of my back and biceps. Hey, we got a lap pull him. Sweet. Also, it's cold in here. Well, it was. Now I'm warm. Waiting for someone I know. So I'm keeping my pants on. Good. Now row comes up in four. All right. In three, in two, and one. Step it back. Row. Lower. Row. Lower. Really control on the release. Try to lower it with control rather than just letting it fall. Eight. 15 right here. We switch sides. Nine. Right. 10. 11. 12. Good. We switch it four. In three. No. In two. Slightly increase in this so weight over here. Bicep yeah, curl. Shoulder press. Do I want to sit my back for two guys? It'll be kind of rude. Okay. It's a little road. Then the camera's at the right angle. I'm not going to be cutting off my head. That is a pretty big class. I'm also really hoping to get out here pretty fast. So to clean today, get to my online client. Uh, well, online clients to take care of on Monday. But uh, send out emails, schedule. Consultation calls. No, they are not going to be doing one sided, only workouts. That'd be really freaking weird. You guys look good. Maintain that long spine. Even though we're working upper body, keep that core in tight. You just have five. Round two, finish strong in three, in two, in one. Step it back. Just one more time through that. And then we'll find some new exercises Seven. for our second circuit. Take the shoulder rolls back. Ten. Okay, most I can do is let's pop yeah. out. It's ten on that Go round. Right, 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 right. We're back up in ten. Round two. Ten. 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 
But yeah, I do that. I have to come up with the partnering up with another gym to run a nutrition program with them and webinars. So that's gonna be exciting news for 2024. Um, they clean my place. Cause now I'm running errands and then when I edit this video, I gotta edit this video, schedule it out. So that's what I'm talking about. Editing, and scheduling this out. By the time you see this already, clearly on YouTube. Um. What else do I got? Oh yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna be making vision boards with all my girlfriends. So excited! I haven't made a vision board in a long time. I made one like two years ago, and uh, never changed it. It's my screen saver. So I'm just gonna make a quarterly one because it's too much to encapsulate a single year in a vision board. So I'm gonna start making quarterly ones. Five step curl. Tip breath in four, in two, and one. Let's get up right here. Curl. Six. Eight. Nine. Fucking shit. Also, whispering into this again, aren't I? Also, I feel like there's just way too many people for me talking normally. But hello, can you hear me? I'm gonna come. Completely really that decision. But yeah, making vision boards. I'm excited. You guys ever made a vision board? Let me know if anything from that came true. I love hearing success stories. And sometimes you hear failure ones. But I've always heard more success stories than failure ones. Yeah, failure stories or failed stories. Whatever you want to call it. So if you ever made one, let me know in the comments below. And your story. You always find that stuff interesting. You have five right here. You have three, two, and one. Drop it down. Recover. All right, last set on this one before I switch it up. Take it overhead. Little pull down. Two. On the jab. So, our next round. It's going to work the same way. 30 seconds of each exercise. We'll work through it three times. We're going to be on our back for the whole time. So, go ahead and have a seat. You're gonna start Fucking with a shit. Lat pullover. So weight is overhead. You're just gonna extend it all the way back. Lift it up. Ew. All right, I'm gonna pause this. And then start up again. It's easier to uh, transfer it over if it's a small increment. So try and do this 10, 10, 11 minute ones all at once. It failed the first time. Or I had to sit for a hot minute for it to come through. So we're still going to be staying here. It's going to pause and come back. Oh, uh, now I am. Oh, I don't care. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm blocking you. I think you're good. But anything will probably just see your head. Just like tilt your head this way. <laughs> no, it sees. All right, we're doing a wrist grip pull down. Well, underarm pull down. Stack those elbows right over your shoulders. You move to that chest oh. press in five. That was 12. Honestly, I didn't realize how much you actually three, work your back. You, you need both hands. Even more so, okay, a lap pull up. How can I do a close so grip? Like, pause it this way, but even then, for me to pause and hunch, it's not the same because I'm still kind of pulling Again, here versus you're taking you're both hands and pulling it into my upper chest. So, to explain, face forward. For me to hip, 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 my upper back, I would have to bring this to chest level with both hands. But now with one hand, I can't align into the middle of my chest without straining my shoulder. So I'm kind of thinking, I'm like, what other back exercises I did? Rows? Uh, fly, lat pull down, underhand, under grip, lat pull down, 
We can do that one more time. Guess I could do a seated row. One more time. No, even at the bars, if I go to the wide grip bar this way, can't do that. Well, I could. I could try that by taking, could do underhand like this. I'm used to that. I'm holding the bar. Wide grip row. Will I be able to stabilize? Yeah, you know, I'm going to give it a shot. If it fails, it fails. I really am talking to myself. I'll give it a shot. See what's happening. So, I mean, what am I going to do? Fail? Can't even do a single arm lap pull up. Bending right into elbows, elbows stack over your shoulders. So make this look different than that lat pullover, right? We're targeting the back of the arms here. Oh, fuck this shit. You got it. That pass on oh. 15 to go. I'm calling these lat pullovers, but they're skull crushers. Last five. Well, let pull. Over. That chest press in three, in two, in one chest press right here. Maybe they do that shot as well. And left. We're going to have to test it out. I don't think this is going to go really well. It's going that great. I mean, the kettlebells. A lot of it's just rowing movements that you could do with your single arm. Think like you have an imaginary it makes it right very, your very your difficult. To do a back day. Chest, shoulders, not bad. Back day. Yeah. Huh. I like contemplating. I, should, I, should, I really should have planned it way better for this. That's on me. Maintain that control through your core. Slow back down. 15 to go right here. We'll close out this circuit. You just have five. Last three, two, oh. and one. Nice work, you oh, guys. Two more. Go ahead and roll up. Come to the end of your knees. I think that'll be easier for this last one. Fucking shit. It's going to be an answer. Because even like, when I normally do a back day, I'll like to do one more time. Pull ups. Last five. Last three, two, and one. Nice work, you guys. Go ahead and roll up. Come to the end of your knees. I think that'll be and some, like to a start, or sometimes I like, do like, pull ups and like assisted pull ups and supersetting it with um, conventional deadlifts. But even then, that if I take a dumbbell, I mean, what I'm gonna have to do, like, yeah, it works. So I still feel it'll be more of legs in my actual back, and even though I know it does engage the posterior chain. Right really, really annoying. Really annoying. Beautiful. Once you have those six, you're I can't even do renegade rows. I love five, playing renegade rows. Oh my god, this is so sad. This is so sad. So many exercises are just out. Last round. Really nice, really nice. Nope. Once you finish that, you're back up at the top. You are two, 35 seconds in. Three, four, two minute hand wrap. Five, so you're as many rounds as possible. Yeah? So you're moving six, quickly, you're moving efficiently, but never ten, two more. Four. Fucking bullshit. Alright. I'm going to attempt. You go on a row, cable row machine and do a wide grip row with the with this D handle over here. Yeah, nice I don't know how it's gonna go. All right, we're gonna try this wider. I have supports from the gym. I don't think it's gonna work. If I, I mean, I could. Because I would still have to, but I have to try to come into narrow, and that's where the issue is going. Yeah. Oh, wait, I should probably adjust this to a lighter weight before I attempt this fun thing over here. All right, so I'm going to try to wide grip this way. 
a little slight slant. Yeah, not too shabby. Except I wasn't counting my reps. I think it's maybe five. Oh well. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Huh, I got slightly increased the weight. I don't know about going to 25 just yet. Let me try 15. Ooh, the gym cleared out. They cleared out. Yeah, I was like halfway done with my workout, <laughs> if not more. What were you recording? Honestly, I half-ass my biceps all the time just because of all the lifting I already do for clients. Yeah, yeah I'm all uh, sure. Oh yeah, when I was like when I was hitting my arms pretty regularly um, a couple of years ago yeah. while training clients, that fucking sh like my arms got so goddamn shredded. It Me personally, I try to stick around two hours max. Oh, with clients, I'm like, it depends on the day. Some of them, um, I might have like six in the day. The worst I've had was eleven in a day. And I was having that for a while, and I thought I was going to, like, yeah. But that's kind of how I ended up getting Wednesdays with only two clients on a Wednesday. Because it was Tuesday. That was, like, be here from 7 a.m. to, like, 8.30 p.m. And Mondays I had quite a bit of clients, too, where I'd be here from 7 a.m. till about 7.30 p.m. No. Tuesday I'd be here till 9.30 p.m. Because I had an 8.30 p.m. client. Yeah. Yeah, so that's, like, how I ended up with, like, Wednesdays. I'm just, like, came here for my regulars, my two reg mornings, regular morning ones. And after that, I just went home and just, like, KO'd, KO'd. And I had people that asked, like, if I could come in Wednesday at 7 a.m. I'm, like, absolutely not. Because, like, by the time, like, you sit get home and, like, you unwind and want to chill out, it's, like, 1130. I'm, like, there's no way I could take on so many clients the next day. Yeah. But that's when my arms start getting like more because I'm lifting, I'm picking things up, demonstrating like deadlifts every single like it was a lot. So I mean I still do, but I just like my arms, I didn't want to get I don't want that much more muscle in my arms. So I'm like, I'm gonna leave it alone. Yeah, I'm just let me just do a few bicep exercises because I'm demonstrating biceps anyways. Doing a whole bunch of other stuff. Because sometimes I'll stand there and be like, like say I have like three or four people who have like all like arms or something incorporating arms that day. It's like, okay, like triceps, like I'm getting like multiple demonstrations. I'm pretty much getting a whole tricep set in by the end of, I'm like, I'm done. Then like lifting, loading, unloading, carrying. Relaxation. I don't know what that is. That's just called sleep. Yeah. I mean, I'll meditate and like decompress, yeah. but there's just so many things to be doing all the time. That's not like going on, like if I go on vacation, I like get a trip vacation. So I'm not, there's like vacation people and there's like trip people. Yeah. So vacation people are the ones who just like at the beach are like, nah. No, no. Yeah. yeah. And they'll do anything. I'm a trip person because yes. I like doing things, but it's also... Sure. And that's where I find relaxation. Like so, because yeah, that yeah. too. But it's also like the excitement. It's like okay, I'm gonna get here. Like I have, I'm gonna try this restaurant. I'm gonna go to this museum. I'm gonna hear. Then you actually go to bed still early, oh, yeah. like your regular time. But you're like going to bed happy, oh, and yeah, yeah, and like excited. Yeah. And then like you're sleeping. Even if you're tired, and your feet are like shot from walking. <laughs> exactly. Then it's like the excitement of waking up again in the morning. It's like, let me try this like muffin shop and try this and then keep on with the day. Then you get home and, and you, you, when you land, you feel so excited about everything you did and you want to share it. Exactly. Yeah. That. Boston. I want to go back to Boston. Salem, Massachusetts was dope. Uh, 
the weekend of Halloween. Oh yeah, it got busy. I think Saturday they said they were like two hundred thousand people. It was awesome. But like yeah, that, that trip is like you come back from it and you're like, you're in this yeah. Like I I can't go just sit on the beach and not do shit. I get it. There's people who do that, but I'm like. I don't get pleasure out of drinking, sitting, doing jack shit. Yeah. Unless it's a rainy day. Then I'm like, rainy. Yeah. Because I'm like, at the moment it's nice outside, like, I want to go do things. I was not. Huh? Like, pretty much. Okay, I wasn't even counting my reps. Uh, I'll just count nine. Ten. 11, 12, this whole, YouTube just heard our whole conversation. How is it going? Yeah. Perfect. It works out. Exactly. I'm not, I'm not here, I mean, I'm not here to waste away. All right, that was three sets though. Maybe. All right, see ya, see ya. Okay. you too, you too. I feel at this point, I was going to look yellow. Doesn't matter the setting. I'm going to. Oh. We're going to move on to biceps. So, I mean, this microphone is really tucked into my sports bra. Hopefully, it was nice to have a conversation. I have no idea. I should stand this way. And you can see me. Maybe. As you heard before, I half ass my arms. Oh well. I just again, I just like lift so much. Just working with my clients in person, I felt like if I wasn't lifting, like helping loading, unloading plates, I probably would put more work and emphasis into working out of my arms. But again, I'm demonstrating things to them all the time. So, and when I was working out them pretty frequently, also like doing plyometrics. Um, I like doing circuit work. They're just more cut, more defined. That's also because my body fat percentage is lower too. My zero goals in increasing the mass and muscle in my upper body, I think I have as much as I personally would like. So someone has a different opinion. Um, I don't care. That's the, that's the nicest way I could say it. So everyone's like, you don't need more, or you should put on more, or this needs to be more cut. Like, I have enough body dysmorphia in its own. Like, do I wish I had more rounded adults? Yes. But when I put on a dress, mm, the way I'm built, if I had it more capped out, I wouldn't really like it. Maybe more defined, but that means I would actually have to um, decrease body fat percentage. So when you look for that tone look, it's actually muscle mass and low body fat percentage. I think before this challenge, I did the in-body, I think I was at 26% body fat, 25 maybe. It was an athletic body fat percentage. Ideally, I like to be between 18 and 20. between 18 and 20 but I think with the holidays around I'm gonna um, do that after the holidays time 18 where I am increase my calories because I wasn't a deficit for a hot minute but my life just got so crazy I didn't get the results I wanted because I'm running around here 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 super stressed um, and actually eating way underneath the deficit it should have been that I felt like my metabolism for that reason slowed down so I'm now increasing the calories, 
kind of reset that metabolism. So I'm still going to be at 135 grams of protein. That hasn't changed. But my carbs and my fats have been upped. Um, so my goal is to be eating 1,800 calories in a deficit and then working slowly to a 1,600 mark. I 100% know there were some days I was barely hitting 1,200. So now I'm just working on making, making sure I stick around the 1,800 mark um, while doing cardio a few times a, a week and making sure my nutrition is on point while doing the holidays. And in November, I'm also not drinking, which helps. I felt less bloated, less water retention. Yay. I think I'm going to hammer curl next. So I'm actually going to take that tap run off. Slightly decrease the weight. I'm going to quickly pause it and restart it. Super fun seeing teeny boppers. I'm straggling at the gym. Not in a bad way. I just I'm there at the gym and staring at you recording the whole ass tripod. Because I think in general, just people just stare at you when you're recording with the tripod. It's weird. But they also think I'm probably fucking weird for having the tripod at the gym. I'm recording myself. And talking. I'm probably going to end up like I wonder TikToks. There's this girl at the gym who's just talking to herself while recording. I think she's trying to be an influencer or something. Oh, I know my left bicep is gonna hate me. It a hundred percent is. You can't probably see it from this angle that you're at, but in the mirror, you see my trap, my traps, my triceps in the shadow. In the shadow, you can kind of see where I'm standing too. I think it was a good idea that I did stay back here. Because if I could tell in the mirror angle that I'm looking at, I think my head's a little cut off. Actually, I don't know. I kind of look like a blob right there. In the reflection of the mirror. Looking a little blobby. Blah, 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 blah. Alright. It's fine if you walk ahead in front. One more set. I don't think I'm going to do abs today. I'm going to do abs. No. I'm not going to do abs. Tomorrow I'm going to do a lot of walking, running errands in the morning. Which I shouldn't count as cardio, but I most definitely am for myself. Oh. See, this is why I don't tire. Daylight like savings time. It sucks. It sucks. It's dim over here. I see the sunset over there. Looks really pretty in the sky. Little pink clouds. And that just looks depressing. On that side, the windows. Windows of the gym. There's so much to do. It feels like 6 o'clock, but it's not. Oh, 
right, well, that was day six, five, six. I don't know. One of these days. I got to double. I'll put it in the, uh, in the thumbnail what day it is. But I guess that's it for today and Monday. So I'm not sure when I'm posting this, but Monday I'm doing legs again. So I do have Sunday as a break. With that being said, I'll see you then. Bye.